Now, one of the um, reasons why there is uh, such a broad opposition in Malaysia to Linus plant is because of the horrific experience uh, of a previous rare earth refinery run by Mitsubishi in Bukit Merah. That's right. So, um, but the company, Linus company, says that it is uh, unfair to compare it because uh, one, they have newer technology, and two, that the uh, the 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 ore that they were refining in Bukit Merah was from the tin tailings, which has a much higher concentration of radioactive material. I think that's a good question. Uh, Linus Public Media has been going to town to tell people that their ore has the lowest concentration of radioactive elements in them. So they did, a, they did a comparison with the uh, tin tailings which the previous rare earth plant called Asian Rare Earth used in the Bukit Merah uh, plant. It is true to a certain extent in terms of quantities, but when we ask for a detailed chemical analysis of their ore from Mount Well, they refused to give us the analysis. And we were even actually trying to secure a sample of it and do our own analysis. We failed to achieve that as well. So all these claims has yet to be scientifically verified by the third independent party which has credibility uh, and uh, people can live up to look up to it and believe that these are facts. Otherwise it will just remain claims. And then uh, there is one difference. The second difference is that uh, the plant, the former plant Asian Red Earth is only one tenth the size of land. The amount of uh, radioactive waste that we churned up by land. If you spread out evenly on a football field in a year, you pile up to four story high. Now the former, the first, or we said former, uh, rare earth plant in Bukit Merah left behind 80,000 barrels of uh, radioactive waste and is still under the process of cleaning up. And the government spent about, not the government, the former owner, Mitsubishi, uh, allocated 300 million Malaysian ringgit to clean up the mess and the government has to set aside a virgin forest, cut the hill, uh, use it as a depository site for this waste. Now that is only one tenth the size of what lamb is. Now Linus is promised to uh, deposit 50 million with the AELB in case they fail to process the waste or fail to um, store the a ways away, I wonder 50 million uh, compared to the 300 million which ARE Asian Rare Earth allocated for the cleaning project. I wonder whether it is sensible to accept such proposal. Now, we still ask for a permanent uh, depository for the uh, radioactive waste, and in fact, I don't know whether it is Linus proposing to AELB or AELB will convince by Linus that. Such deposit, uh, deposit, permanent, permanent deposit disposal is only needed when they fail to find a use for the uh, radioactive waste and they claim there will be zero radioactive waste if they manage to uh, reduce commercial products from the waste. But right at this point here, nobody believes what they say because we have such poor regulatory bodies that uh, even the Director General said in the first instance when we discovered the plant was uh, in our neighborhood he said the radioactive waste is so low in radioactivity that it can sprinkle it now everywhere it underscores one fact that the regulatory authority has no integrity nor uh, professionalism in doing their work if production starts um, is there any official process that will do an actual analysis of the waste product because all the company can do is projections at this stage. I don't think so. There has been such a range. In fact, we try to get ourselves into a committee that will supervise and oversee the processing, the operation of the, of the plant. And the answer we got from the AELB is that these people who sit in that committee will have been trained for months and will have such qualifications not many Malaysians are qualified for. So I do not think 
there is an independent body comprising some of the civilians who are concerned about this issue here uh, to oversee and uh, supervise over the analysis and the government has not made even such proposals so that's why we are so angry with the project because right from the beginning we were not consulted and secondly they're going to leave behind so much of waste and yet they do not pay a single cent of tax we are the people who will be left holding the baby and our future generation will be burdened with the responsibility of cleaning out the environment.